Yeah. I think Victoria has to take a lot of the credit because I think, you know, she's had a lot to do with everything that's been done in our garden and uh, in the in the market. Like the so. gardening. Yeah, you had your <laughs> <laughs> you had your rake out. That, but no, she does yeah. have, before no. she, you know, throws another one of these little things in, she always <laughs> does when we're doing live interviews like the Golden Balls thing and other things that she throws in. But I think Victoria has to take a lot of the credit for, uh, you know, the things that have gone on in the... Um, <laughs> Are you going to do, like, um, a setting? Because as much as I, n I would normally say, let's go for it all white and let's go for it all clear, yeah. I am concerned about this whole wedding look. Sure. Do you mean having too much white? Yeah. But I like the idea of just throwing in something a little bit more random like that. I love all these coloured ones. You just need like a, a heavier kind of tumbler as opposed to that, don't you? Yeah. That looks like what you get out of a petrol station. I know what you mean. It's a little bit cheap and cheerful, isn't it? Compared to the others, I mean, even, yeah. that's, even that's lovely. I think what everybody feels is that they'd love the chance to maybe yeah. have some kind of a chat with you. Yeah. I can speak to anybody okay. over the phone. I mean, I'm not at home. That's the only thing. All right. I've just done it while sunbathing. I mean, I've sat there on a lounger and, you know, rung up the caterers and... Miss says she never sunbathes as well. Oh, I'm kind of blending in with the sofa nicely, aren't I, at the moment? So we sort of played around with the full oh, fabulous menus. Have you felt that texture? Quite sexy, isn't it? Well, sexy? Yes. Yeah. It's not getting me going, but I know what you mean. <laughs> The menu for the party has been designed by the Beckham's close friend, Mr Gordon Ramsay. We wanted Gordon because one, he's a, he's a friend of ours and two, for me, he's the best chef. Um, and to have him involved in our party, doing the food for everybody, is amazing. Did Gordon design this? I don't think Gordon's into designing Gordon jackets. Gordon should stick to bloody food if he did. She might be confident in his menu, but Victoria's not entirely happy with what the waiters will be wearing. I'm not sure. I like, okay. I like black with, you know, those okay. long pinnies that they wear that go down yeah. to the floor? Yeah, floor-length aprons. I think that's better. That reminds me okay. of, like, buttons from a pantomime or something. OK. Right. We're quite young to be holding a party of this scale, you know. This is only the second time we've done this. And, we're, you know, we're still quite young, we're still learning, you know. We're, we often go to Elton and David's big event, but they've been doing this for years and it's always fabulous and it's always going to be great, but this is a new thing for us. So it's, it's exciting, but the support from sponsors um, to friends to family ha has been absolutely incredible. I think it's all those little details and that's what you're so brilliant at and I think it's... Um... Well, I hope I get it right this time for you, but we've got everybody working on it. Yeah, don't feel the pressure, but so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up... Life in London, Beckham style. Victoria gets a dress fitting. I don't think we want too much glitter on the boob area. And her hands on a million pounds worth of diamonds. Just think, if we didn't have such a crowd outside, we could shut this up and run. run. <laughs> and even with the best planning in the world, things go wrong. I've just embarrassed myself ridiculously. That's all right. Again. Today, Victoria's flown back to London to decide on the flowers to go with her full-length and fabulous theme. Floral designer Rob Van Helden has made up two different ideas for her to choose from. Victoria has asked to see two samples. First of all, we were talking about going from a lemon tree orchard into an orange tree orchard. Since then, it has changed into like a woodland feel. It must be a huge pressure for Victoria. She has invited a major guest list. And you want everything, you know, from the flowers down to the organisation, down to the catering. You want people to walk away and say, wow. Come down to the oh, line. my goodness. Here he is, waiting for you. Where are I? Hi, Victoria. How are, How are you? you? Well, very well, you. Nice Good, to see thank you. thank you. This looks fantastic. Look. Oh, it looks gorgeous. These are lovely, aren't they? I've always liked butterflies. I think they're really, really pretty, and I think that when I had the concept for the, how I wanted the room to look, it just seemed like a a natural thing, something that would be really, really pretty. And people will be picking them off and trying to put them in their purses to steal them. <laughs> I love these little candles. Hanging light hanging eyes, yeah. Things. They look great, don't they? 
I want people to come and, and, and talk about it afterwards, you know, all the little details, the, the little lights in the trees, you know, all the different flowers, you know, the way, the way that the room smelt when I came in, this is what I want people to, um, to appreciate as well. It's exactly what we said, isn't it? Well done, well good. Well done. Yeah, well, well, well done. Well done. Now's the choice. Great. I like the white, but yeah. that's because I like white, but do you think it's a bit wedding-y? There is the danger. But what would it look like if we had this tree and these flowers on the white? All this will look very harsh. The white will on look very white. harsh, yeah. yeah. I don't know which I prefer. You, you said like a white cloth underneath this. Yeah. Makes it quite old-fashioned yeah. looking, doesn't yeah. it? Well, I think we're saying the white flowers, aren't we, but with on, the, on, that on that cloth. We just want it to be wow, you know, as much as we can make it, and, and to be us. And this is, this is very me and David. We like things cool. I like lots of moss. I like lots of twigs, you know. Okay. Not that moss and twigs are particularly cool, but, you know, <laughs> that sounded really crap. It will be but from now me, on. <laughs> everybody's going to be buying moss. Yeah. I'm so glad there's no carnations. I hate carnations. <laughs> you, no, don't, I you, hope you don't so. do carnations, do you? Rob's never done carnations. Never done a carnation in your life. You mentioned a green carpet. Yeah. Now, that's the green that we looked at, but the problem yeah. is when it gets dark, it goes a little mm. bit black. Right. So that was another thought. That's nice. I love that. Yeah, I like I that. I think that's yeah? the best Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. I remember at the that's wedding, I was saying, I can't believe we've got to spend this much money on bloody carpet we're going to throw away tomorrow. Get cheaper carpet, Peregrine. And we found uh, it, I think, we didn't did. we? We did. That's People are yeah. being so generous and donating so much money for the charity that I wanted people to come into the room where they're going to sit and eat and just say, wow, you know, which I, I totally think you would. I mean, this is more than I ever expected. David's going to love this when he sees it. It's perfect. Good. It really is Good. lovely. Thank you. Whilst Victoria perfects the flower designs, David's been working on the menu with Gordon Ramsay. About two months ago, he was like, well, come to London, you know, we'll do the tasting. And uh, so I went to his restaurant, Maze, and, uh, you know, he was, the food is incredible, absolutely incredible. Gordon designed the menu, but won't be creating it on the night because he's a guest. That job falls to Lindy Wedding and her team at Absolute Taste. So we're going to do the canapes in five. Yep. And then we'll do the starter. Today, Gordon sent along three senior members of his team to see not only if his menu works, but also to check that they're happy with the way Lindy has prepared the food. They include the head chef at the Claridge's and Gordon's own executive chef, Mark Askew. Normally we have a couple of VIP tables, but here I think we'll probably have 54 tables and 53 VIP tables. I think on this one, you, 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 uh, the fig is very powerful. Yeah. The canapes need to be like nice and simple and clean and fresh and tasty, but not too big and not too difficult to eat. It's always nice. Uh, like <laughs> 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 Excuse me? We know that the dishes we can taste and we, we can create would be fantastic, but we know on the night when you're doing it for you know, ten times the amount of covers that we normally do. It's a, it's a different scenario. This is, this is much better. The flavour's right, the colour's mm -hmm. right. Is that the right size chicken this time? Oh, that was quite small. Yeah, that was bigger. Mine's, well, it was massive. Mine's quite small as well. Mine's pretty big. <laughs> David's particular favourite was the pudding. I think it was the, the, the ice cream. It's like a Snickers ice cream, which is good. But then, like, every, every dish is, is amazing. Every dish. A lot of people like the chocolate, obviously, but we wanted to do something a bit, a bit fresher again, a bit more spring, summer. We thought this with the cherries went really, really well. That's what happens, it absorbs the cold. But according to David, the ice cream is nothing compared to what will follow. Oh, the Turkish delight is ridiculously it's nice. Narnia all over again, isn't it? It's, like, so good. What? That's what they eat in Narnia, lime, witch and wardrobe. Really? Mm-hmm. So, flowers chosen, menu sorted, now the most important thing, the dress. It's designed by Roberto Cavalli, who sent his assistant, Sebastiano, to Madrid for a fitting. It's nice when it's longer at the back. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? I work really closely with Sebastiano and he knows what shape I like, what colours I like. And we've worked together for so long now, he, he knows exactly my size. What colour diamonds are we going to have, Sebastiano? Domani controllo la borsa. That's nicer, isn't it? He's an absolute genius. He's, he's fantastic. <laughs> See, he pretends he doesn't understand English, but he just understood that. <laughs> I could tell. We had a little bit of a... <laughs> we always need a bit of padding in the boobie. 